So guys, welcome back to We Happy Few. I really can't thank you enough. I know I did uh, four videos up to this point, and just all the support you guys have shown each part. Just keep it up if you want more of this game. And uh, you guys are awesome. Let's do this, guys. All right, guys. So the one thing I've noticed about when you reload your game, it just throws you wherever. I think last time we left off, it was up top uh, on, like, the tower and stuff. But the thing is, you're supposed to just go to the next objective, which... I'll go ahead and show you right now, as far as the weight, I do need to get rid of some of this stuff. Workbench, uh, weapons, everything seems to be good. I do like the system in this game with everything. I need to get rid of some of this rotten stuff. Food poisoning. We're not really to a point yet where none of this stuff really matters, so... I'm not gonna sweat it, really. I'm gonna see what happens when we go over here, though. I just like all the stuff you can explore in this game. Like, I could just kind of roam around for an hour and just find stuff to do, but I like that there's, there's like an actual story. Because look, I, I think when I first started the game, I was worried it might be... Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm going to sleep outside. Yo, look at this. How long is it going to take? Thanks. So you can only do, I guess, 24 hours at a time. Sleep. The poor man's dinner. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get really thirsty and stuff if I do that. Oh, okay. Uh, so what I'll do is just, let me look at my, I guess, all the different food and everything. Yeah, food, food and drinks, uh, this is a drink, but it will make me kind of, I guess, weary. Let's use this. Alright, so I'm well rested. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sleep anymore just because that's a lot of, what is this? It could be worse, I think. Stay out of the fog. It bites. He was searching. There's nothing there. I'm just kind of curious what happens with the story as far as, like, the... The whole society and everything else. You can't have our water. Wait, is this technically trespassing? This just Harry? walking right here? Uh-oh, time to move. I'm out of here, yo. I was actually reading Get some him, of the one. tips. Get him. Some of, like, the tips you get when, uh... I guess the Bloody people hell. that made the game oh, was making like a guide or whatever. They just said to. The the oh my god, really? Yo, this is crazy. Starting things off with a bang, are we? Goodness. Go over here and hide for a minute. Wonder how far out I have to go to like just be away from everyone. Will they cool down if I just chill? I could have went to the hatch and just fast traveled, but I feel like we haven't really seen a lot of the outside area of this game. This is nice, though. All right, let me look at the map. Uh, skill points. We still have two left over from the last video. All right, so we're headed... Okay, so we're over there. We're just trying to get... There's actually an unexplored area over this way. The Sal Salamaga Bridge. Oh, behave. Save a bit for the next minute. Oh yeah, what I'll do is I'll just transition when we get over there. I didn't know it was such a long way to go. Chuck Peter. Used to be you can prime out of the pub with a crowbar. I think I've already been judged. What and the hell? Oh shit! What in the world? Guy just threw. Yo, I'm out of here. All right, guys, we're on the home stretch now. I don't know if it was intended for us to have to. I mean, I guess they just wanted you to see the, like, the full area coming over here, because it's, there's a lot of stuff going on, it's like side quests popping up, but, and I did one of them. Oh, uh, what's this? Just popped up. Giant heart. Alright, so we made it over here. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to take us to, like, a new area. Talk your way past the Bobby. Okay. Lovely day for it. Unfortunately, the bridge is not open at this time. It was working just a minute ago, but the door is broken again. You'll have to wait until it's up again. Do you ever let anybody in? Oh, yes. There's someone in there now. And in the past month? Well, in the past month. Ah! There's a chap in there right now. You don't really want anyone back from the Garden District, do you? Hell, my wastrel friend. No one goes off their joy, can actually take joy. 
I mean, would you? Everybody feels better if that door stays broken. You, us, everybody. Well, Constable Wright, I suppose now I can tell Central why the bridge keeps breaking down. Central? Ever seen one of these? Oh, bugger me. Y you're not some sort of undercover bridge inspector. This device detects structural irregularities using shortwave radar. But I don't think it will show me the real problem. Will it, Constable Wright? Look, sir, you can fix that door, but them wastrels still ain't gonna take that joy. It makes them see eyes everywhere. That's not for you to decide, is it? No, sir. The, the, the maintenance hatch is that way, sir. I, I, I'd be grateful if you forgot this conversation ever, ever happened. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Alright, use the maintenance door. We're just kind of... We had a sweet talk right there. Oh, bugger. If I really was from Central, I'd have the card, wouldn't I? There is another way, though, isn't there? Requires a key card. I know I don't have that, so we're gonna have to go around. Cross this bridge like Half-Life 2. This is the parts of the game that I love. I love... The little missions Please that take a number and are like sit this, down. you know? There's nobody else here. Please take a number and sit down. There's nobody else here, though. What does the numbers at? What does it say? Spare... Oh. Oh, really? That's spare money in there. Can you take it? <laughs> Don't mind me. Just having a bit of a sit down. I didn't take a number, though. Hold on. Grab that ticket. Now we wait. I guess I gotta get, like, explore around a little bit. What does this say? Ground floor, rehabilitation, testing, exit. Okay. Nothing there. Can I not just go in there now? No. Just rest in my feet. Number two. Now serving number two. Welcome to the rehabilitation center. Actually, I'm just a sort of undercover bridge inspector from Central. See this device? Uh, it detects structural... It... Then you should have no trouble passing the test, should you? Please head through the door oh, there no. and begin your rehabilitation. Oh, man. I'm in trouble, aren't I? If they ask me a bunch of questions, I'm gonna have to just, like, respond... Oh, man. The, the way they want to hear it, I guess. your personal belongings into this box retaining only your Put all clothes. your things in the Please stash continue to the decontamination oh no room. this is where it kind of feels like a bioshock type game you know the weird story oh the healing bomb look at all this am i gonna have to fight people to the death again Please discard your clothes. Don't worry, you will be provided with new, proper clothes after decontamination. I'm picking up clothes, I'm picking up everything. Uh, this guy is just chilling. Can't really talk to him, okay. The undressing room. Oh no. I was supposed to shower, here we go. Why? Judging. Should I turn this turn the water off maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I guess not. I was supposed to put on one of these proper suits. Don't you look wonderful. Please proceed to the next room. In case there is any residual odor of the garden district on you, please enjoy this refreshing scent of country flowers. Oh no. Is that flickerish? Why 
my licorice. Get ready for the most important moment in your rehabilitation. Please take your favorite flavor of joy. Vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry. Oh, man. Mental purification. That's one way to say brainwashing, I guess. Oh, dear. Hey, it's the guard. I mean, I guess they're all looking the same. Oh, I must insist that you not traverse the beams of the joy detector without taking your joy, sir. Oh my goodness, that dude just got zapped. Oh, damn it. They were serious about taking my joy, wasn't they? Um, take joy and enter the theater. The mood booth? Hold on. Oh man. Alright, joy makes you happy, but take care not to take too much. Alright, so track your joy. If the joy meter fills, you will overdose and suffer penalties to combat crafting. Wow. As you take more joy, you'll notice a memory loss. Counter around the joy. Oh, wow. They're saying to use joy well, tactically, basically. Pop a joy. Look at my walk. What's this dude doing? <laughs> All right, I guess we're good. Look at that jolly walk, though. Lovely weather. Lovely day for it. The down Please detector. Head into the theater and take a seat. Uh, this room is for show only. Oh, showing Uncle Jack only. If this not for other activities, use the cozy cottages if you must. Please keep eyes open. Yo, this is creepy, man. All right, here we go. Why am I reading? Sit tight and enjoy the show. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village. So don't be afraid of talking to people first. We'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Huh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another, and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax, and open the Hamlin or Quran. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. Well, <laughs> or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. I hear he's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've got to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. That's me. Isn't Uncle Jack wonderful? Now, please proceed to the third floor, where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. Oh my goodness. All right, stand up. Seems like it's going to be a pretty straightforward test. You really just have to answer what a psychopath was. And you're, and you're, you're basically in there. Just a friendly reminder. Uncle Jack don't mention it, but a word to the wise, not a decent people, don't like people what is running, jumping, crouching, spying, sneaking, breaking or entering. Such like behaviours is what we associate with downers. Avoid them and we shan't have disagreements. Oh man, I'm nervous. Cashier, what question do you 
have for our prodigal son or daughter. Final cashier. Glad he's still around. If you want to fit in, you should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet, like how you do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. C. The eyes! The eyes! Uh... Yeah, I was gonna go with A. Yes, that's right. It never hurts to say hello to people. Player two, I'm afraid the eyes, the eyes, was not the right answer. Uh oh. Mrs. Browning, what would you like to know? If you realize you're wearing rags, should you A pop a joy? B. Put on proper clothes, for God's sake. And why not pop a joy? See, why does everything have eyes? <sighs> um, I'm going to go with uh, B on that one. Because if it didn't have the joy part... Oh dear, no, player one. Wait, what? That's not the answer we're looking for. Player two, I'm afraid everything does not actually have eyes. I don't even get a chance to select it. Constable. Whatever. Constable, Constable, your question. Right. Well, here's my interrogative. If I see you running, jumping about, or crouching in the shadows, what will I likely do? A. Tell you to stop your rotten shenanigans before I smash you in the face. B. Run and jump and play myself. C. Oh god, the eyes. I'm gonna select it quick this time. Yeah, there's a timer up top I didn't even notice. I was focused like this and I didn't look no up. One. That's exactly right. If you need to get somewhere, don't lurk about like a rotten downer or run like you're fleeing the scene or jump about. No need to be in a hurry in Hamlin Village. Player two, do try to pay attention. We want you to succeed. Mrs. Sackville, your question, please. If you want to make friends with me, should you A. Give me flowers. B. Talk about old times. C. Stop staring at me. Why is everything staring? Well, you don't talk about the past, so you gotta. It's gotta be A. This person's about to get assassinated, I feel like it. Excellent! Yes! Do give the ladies a lovely bouquet. They do so love flowers. Oh dear, it looks like the eyes have you both. As they say, how disappointing. Remember, doctors are here to help you. If you've forgotten your joy, doctors will smell it right away. And they'll give you a quick injection to make your day a lovely one. Dr. Byron, what is your question? What happens when you take too much joy? A. You can't find your own house. B. Who cares? C. Please, God, make them stop staring. I'm gonna say who cares. Probably wrong, but it's either A or B. That's right, player one. It hardly matters. You might lose a few hours, but sooner or later, you'll find yourself on a bench, no worse for the wear. Oh, player two. Today is just not your day, is it? But you can always come back for a seventh try. And that concludes this episode of Oh Behave. I hope you made it to the village. If you didn't, remember, we're always happy to give you another shot if you're willing to behave like a decent citizen. Of course we are. Here in Hamlin Village, we're always happy. Well, that's a relief. Escape. Wait, what? The game where you show that you're ready to come back to Hamlin Village and behave like a proper, decent citizen. What the hell? I paused the test. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not going to do this again. How do I get out of here? Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington Wells. Mr. Cashier, what question do you have? For our prodigal son or daughter. If you want Metal to bits can craft that. Hey, say hello 
down to everyone you meet, like how you do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. C. The eyes, the eyes. Alright, we're out of here, yo. Lockpick. Uh, can I not craft one? I don't know. I don't have all my stuff still, but I thought I would have. Uh, I don't know. Let, let me just see really quick. Dirty bandage. Jimmy bar. I can go ahead and use that for the metal bits. Whatever. That jolly walk is so funny. The one reason I think about. I think. I feel like the Bioshock thing is because the masks. I think there were a lot of people that wore masks in that first Bioshock game. Like you would be walking around and they would just be chilling right there behind you with the big mask on, you know? Uh, searching everything. What is this? Hold on. Oh, that's the stash. Alright, uh, so when you sleep, I'm guessing the joy wears off. Yo, how do I get out of here, though? Onto the village, I mean... Is this guy gonna stop me? May I express my delight that you passed the examination, sir? We've not had as many as we'd hoped, sir. Not as many at all. And yet, they say the unexamined life is not worth living. Well, sir, welcome back. Oh, and in case your rustication has been of long duration, please bear in mind there is now a nocturnal curfew. Best be indoors after nightfall, sir. All right, I guess we're good. Just like that, I just had to get drugged up and, you know, pass a quiz. And I'm in there. <laughs> 